Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with yours truly Lord of the Mad. Now, going somewhere. one more stop before we go into the monastery. We need some fuel, I believe. So let's start by Santa Monica and Chinatown. It's a mesmerizing liquid, isn't it? The color, the bouquet, the form. When I was a kid, I used to wait for the snap of the rat trap. It would trickle out of the animal's face and ooze just far enough to coagulate around the cheese. A poetic death. If you say so. Right. So you have one of each of these, is that right? Or do you have an unlimited supply of each of these? That can't be right. How much do I have? Not much. Okay, well, uh, three Elder White is enough. Let's get five of this as well, and that should actually handle me, so we don't need to go to Chinatown. Right, so this is gonna be fun. My blood meter on the right is not bubbling. Should it be bubbling? Should my health be bubbling? I don't remember. I just don't remember if I need to kill everybody. I probably thought the best if I did. Get down from there! I think last time I played I tried to do this fight Range, which was quite a nightmare. What's your gun? Product. I think we are full of ammo for it, I guess. All of you all should learn to aim. Come on. Ah! It's a trap! What a surprise! I did not expect more hunters. It's as if we are attacking the hunter's stronghold. What's this gun? Nice. Give me a moment here. I'm almost done with you. Come on. Ah, I double tapped. Just need to drink a little bit, so it's all solved and good. Uh, he didn't have enough blood in him to completely heal me, but I think I can accept that. Oop. What's this? Is there a hair in my mouse? Why is it doing that? Oh. Sounds like there's more people at the party. Certainly more here. your gun, it looks interesting. Alright, I need to jump for this. Are you guys stun locking me? That's rude. Well? Can I grab you from me there? Yes, I can. Om yum 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 yum. You could say it's a flyby snack. Oh, I picked up the ammo. Excellent. You ready to die? Should be. You've been with the hunters long enough to know to prepare to die. I, as previously stated, that must be true. Right, I think that's all, except for the roof fog, but for that we need to go inside, for which we should probably lockpick the door. Alright, ah. Lord, I pray now that you give me strength in battle, that I might overcome the hordes of Satan and his children, that I might wield the flaming sword of the Archangel and defend myself with your shield of faith, and that my victories are... I 
Hey, I'm trying to blow up your uh, explosive trap. I mean, that's surely an explosive trap, right? Wait, uh, let me get back to my sword. Then. Yeah, I, I said it's surely an explosive trap. Alright, so if I go sneaky, sneaky, Lord, sneaky, sneaky, can I just. Power? That's fine, let's fight. You know I won't come there. Okay, we have a sense of things now. Lord, I pray now that you give me strength and power, that I might overcome the horse of Satan and his children. Heat sick? Human. Charles is set to human. Cool. I'm just gonna go back over here now. Since we know there's another door over here that we can also enter and also, you know, set the charges to be for humans. But that will probably still cause big explosions that will kill me. Uh, that's a sock. Human. Just set the human. Excellent. You just relax. Let me just quick save. You be a good card, go the other way. Right, like good gods do. And there we go. Sock. Oh, this is the sock. Ah, uh, hits it. And then it's a sock. Human. There we go, that's fine. Oh, what's this then? Oh, that's just another product. Now we casually go over here. That's a lot of explosives. Okay, so it looks like they have less explosives on this side of the building. Completely alright. Sure. Can I go? Meat. Ooh, a book. What sort of knife are you using? Well, oh, just a, just a standard kitchen knife. Okay. Now, what did we find? Found the journal. This journal is inscribed with the initials GB. We have tracked Lacroix to the Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the bedhouse of the Venture Tower, hiding behind some legitimate business front while commanding his legion of demons by cover of night. I pray to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the dark wings of Lucifer himself. It is not Lacroix I fear, nor his underlings, but there is fear in my heart, nonetheless. An ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me the strength to overcome it. 
Woke up this morning and the sun on my face was little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with some hell spawn. Minions of the vampire we know as Alistair Kraut. We have been unable to find his lair, but is this only a matter of time? May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding Tenkaran's sarcophagus and the massacre of the Elizabeth Dane has my superiors troubled. I have been told to expect a package in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on this artifact. Its arrival seems convenient in light of Lacroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss, yet I cannot see what machinations are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us true. We finally found the lair of Alistair Kraut, but it seems we were too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a younger vampire who seemed unaware of Kraut's demise. No doubt one of his sucklings come to visit its master. I took care of the demon and destroyed the house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. There seems a great unrest among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of Lacroix was unwelcome to the rest of the damned. I know not, nor do I care. They will all burn, whether by my hand or the father's. Then Karen's acrophagus was stolen today from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads... I see that police report that we obtained leads me to believe that the demon spawn were behind it and the book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces the theory I know now that these may very well be the end times and the time of the final struggle may well be upon us I dreamt of Lacroix last night of his hideous visage burned to ash in a great inferno may it be that this is a vision given to me by God and that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance the years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Kriegler reported the disturbance at the vampire coven we have been observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seems there was a party and that something interrupted their fleshly rituals. He could say no more of the matter, but I smell Lacroix's maddening hand in this. All the better may the demons feed on themselves until the world is rid of their evil. I had dreams of fires in Griffith Park last evening. I know not their origin, but I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness warning me that he is fearful that the apocalypse is upon us. And my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart and will fight for righteousness until I am no longer able. I took Johansen from his hotel room last evening and brought him back here to the monastery. I am convinced that Lacroix will try to find him, as he is the only one with the knowledge about how the artifact can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault on the monastery, and they are ready to die for his glory, as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these last dark days, and may the children of Satan burn forever in the hellfires of damnation. Amen. Alright. Oh. That's fine. None of them actually triggered any of the bombs, so I may as well just have turned them off. Heat sick. Sock. Human. Cool. Where does this go? Ah, oh, this goes upstairs. Which is exactly where I wanted to explore. This vampire Frequent society e and the shotgun. Ooh. And that was the Ark of the Covenant, I'm sure. Please join me inside this chamber. Oh, okay. Oh, you joined me inside this chamber, that's fine. I just felt like I was under too much fire and I should probably heal a little. And luckily for me, we have elf packs just running around. Pretending to be my enemies until they die. I wonder if these hunters would be more of a challenge if I wasn't. 
a sword fighting goddess of undeath. Maybe. Uh, is there no roof access? I, don't, I was hoping for roof access because there's some bastards still on the roof. And maybe not. Guess we should go this way. Ah. The mystical bags of garbage. Why would they drop my sword? In the face of your holiness. And for some, the less holinessness of them. Am I seriously to expect that they've all been... No. Oh. That they've all been... Uh, uh, diamond through a barrel? It was what I was about to say, but apparently that is not the case. It was a different matter entirely. Is this a... Yes, this was a travel door. Ooh. This is fascinating. Whee. But the ladders are too much for me. Okay, quick save. And a surprise. Uh, watch out for the parallel box of explosives there. Neither of us probably wants to blow up. I mean, it would be fun to watch him blow up, but, you know. I myself would rather not blow up. Yeah. Alright, we got some new ammo. That's good. And we are very much ready to go and kick some more asses. Do both of these lead to the same room, or is this a side path that takes me to more friends? Yes, it is. Ouch. What was your gun? I just steal the braddock. Uh, give me a moment, I'm gonna come and drink you up because I have piss in my health, but I don't want piss in my health. So let's get rid of that. And as we all know, blood cures all ills. Do we know that? I don't know if we know that. But uh, still, pro tip for everyone, don't uh, try and cut a thing with your thing. Is this who I think it is? No more, no more, no more f fire. Oh, fire. A dead phoenix in a cage after I tried to help you fly. You. It ruined my face. The fire. I can still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. A slight burning sensation. You should see a doctor. I wouldn't talk so they burn me. Again. And again. And again. Their eyes. They, they enjoyed it. Before they come back. I'm begging you. Let me out. Drink this and mend your broken body, Phoenix. I once drank from the most desirable women in the world. Right now, this bag looks better than any of them. You will not be caged much longer. Let's get this. Oh, okay. Let's get this. Thanks. You'll never see me again. I'm gonna go somewhere no one will ever see this face again. Good luck in Canada. Seriously, to try and not get caught again. And those bloody brand marks, those don't seem like fun to have. Are you stuck in this box? Let me help you. You're free! Are you stuck on the next box? Let me help you. You're free! I think he's truly free now. Alright. Looks like it's time for some more... Slash and bash combat! You want some? 
So I've got some. I've got plenty for everyone. Come here. Yeah, come to me. Fly into the sea. Under the sea. Everything's better. Down where it's better. Under the sea. So, I guess this connects to the sea, so under the sea. Okay, there's some bastards still over there waiting for me. Oh, right. This was... There was something I could loot from here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the pearl gauge. Sure, why not? Is this ammo as well? Yeah. Nice. I feel like I've been low on my shotgun ammo. Alright, well, which one of you goes first? Apparently there were more hidden here, so... You go next. First then. Yum, 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 yum. Because I had to plot buff, so obviously now I need to heal myself using a... Little hunter. Let's be honest, this is less of a hunter, more like a, just a hired gun. Not to dismiss your efforts, however. But you don't seem like the sort to actually be able to find, like, Ash or someone. Especially now that you're dead. Okay, those don't seem to be ammo boxes. Ooh, what's this? Cell key. Well, a bit late for that, don't you think? We already visited the cell. And more shotgun ammo. Nice. Servants of Satan, but I set this type as an arch thief himself. Where is Lacroix? Oh, that guy? He says his love. Perhaps when Lacroix runs out of minions, he will show me his face, and God will guide my shots through it. Before I send you to eternal damnation, any last words? I'm saying them for the final night. You should have begged for God's mercy. I will show you none. You could tag team with Jesus and you're still going down. Alright, Bucky boy. Ha! I'm killing vampires, I'm killing werewolves, I'm killing all of them. There's nothing they can't kill. I am apparently stuck on that. Give me a moment, Park. I'm just... I'm coming upstairs. That was... Shiny. Alright, he's... He's sort of holy. Like, he's not just another bastard. He is a holy bastard. Uh, actually... Speaking of holy bastards... Ooh, I have a vampire apocrypha. This book is titled Vampire, uh, Vampire Apocrypha, Unidentified Sarcophagus, discovered by Julius of Cole, uh, 1068 AD, near Ankara, Ottoman Empire. The origin of this dark and mysterious talisman is largely unknown and is mostly considered a myth. If not for the etchings of Julius of Cole, who first discovered and then subsequent, uh, subsequently re entombed the artifact, there would be almost no historical record of the artifact. Save for various unfounded legends of its evilness scattered throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. Historians and theologians alike have been unable to ascertain its exact age or place of origin, although the symbols and the inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is from the area of ancient Samar or Mesopotamia. It has never been opened and therefore any myths pertaining to who or what might be encased in it are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold the remains of an ancient king whose name so far has been lost to the ages. 
And it was said though that the writings of Julius Skull described the artifacts as being an and threatening, full of some ancient and undeniable evil. He attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact, who upon seeing his eyes on it for the first time began convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. Yeah! Oh, you broke my box! Yeah, he's gonna break me next, I think. Unless, uh, let's drink that. You and your bloody cross. But it's not bloody now, is it? Where is he? Oh, up there. Alright, then. Getting up there sounds like a pain in the ass, but I'm fine. Where are you now? Oh, over there. That's fine. Sigit the Zagit, the motherfucker! Right, that's why I wanted to... Why I needed to do this ranged. Because the bloody bastard keeps running away! The Jesus won't save you for long. Don't you know that crosses don't work on vampires? It's just the, uh, you know, legend and the, whatever you call them. Hearsay. Is that right? Yeah, hearsay. And he's up there again. But I hope he doesn't break my boxes because I need these boxes to get back up to him. Oh, I got stuck. Give me a moment. I'm just using the boxes so I can get up to you quicker. Yes. Faith shield you and all that. Okay, you're back there again. Are you ready for this? I'm, I'm gonna get you. Really? This game of hide and seek won't work. I am a far more dread a devil than LaCroix. Come on. Look at my butt. Look at my butt. Be distracted. So I can kill you. Ha! Give the power of my butt on my side. Oh. You're still there, by the way. I had the perfect plan at all. I guess I should not have turned around so you could no longer see my butt because my butt would have been a sufficient distraction. Well, he looks dead now. That's good. Uh, can I have your weapons? You seem to have some nice weapons. I guess not. Alright, well. We're going upstairs. We're getting Johansson. And we're leaving. I guess. Hey dude, how are you doing? You everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go. Yeah? What's up, Doc? I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. We are all hostages to our crazy fate, but I am not your captor. Why are they doing this? What is this nonsense with the guns and the crosses and the talk of vampires? Why do they insist on keeping me here? Who are these people? There are no people now, just meet. You can come with me after we talk. Yeah, yeah, okay, anything. Just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. I think I'm starting to get pneumonia. <coughs> Tell me a story about the uncaring sarcophagus. sarcophagus. The sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. But don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? Oh, them? I just punched the cards. Place is under new management. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you will help me escape. Yeah. All right. Where should I begin? Tell me a story about the sarcophagus. Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? 
I love the mark. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. This one is listening? While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Mesarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like uh, Dracula or something. Mesarach or someone else? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Mesarach could remain in, uh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Did you look inside? Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray and take air samples before we pry open the lid. A real vampire, really? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. He was the first larper? A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood he knew the sweet ecstasy of i mean he drank blood perhaps drinking the blood of your enemies is if nothing else symbolic it can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents don't misunderstand me i in no way believe it was a vampire vampires that's what caused this whole mess these maniacs believe they exist why did you discover it uh, that is, uh, you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site, following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. This one is listening? Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Lying? I don't know what would make you believe that. I have been very forthcoming with you so far. I uh, think that maybe you are not as familiar with the process as me. Meserak is inside, with no doubt. That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. Can you tell me another story about vampires? Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith, the first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. No more stories. I want in. Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it? It's perplexing. I want it and I can't wait for Christmas. How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus, even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Where is the spare? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. 
It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. Let's go on a cruise together, just you and me. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. Don't mention it, or better do. Alright. Judgment is here! Well, now we're on a clock. Eee. See, yeah, because there's a clock on the screen. See, up there. Ah, uh, uh, I can't show you. Trust me, it's there. On the top of the screen. You can see it, for sure. Uh, where is Johansson? Johansson? Do you seriously have to reload? Because I was 100% intending on bringing him out of here. Get on the boat. Lots of shaking. My question remains, did we get Johansson? It looks like there's been some sort of party here. Alright, well, we'll look into that next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.